Hey guys, it's Jimmy with Trailer Valet, and today I'm gonna to show you guys our new JX series, featuring our new marine drill powered jacks. Specifically today, I'm gonna to show you our 5K center, our 2K side, the differences between the two, how to install them, and which jack best fits you. So to begin installing your 2K side, you're gonna need a 16 millimeter socket or wrench. I prefer the socket, it's a little faster, and a 17 millimeter wrench. So to begin install on your 2K side jack, I like to pre-install your first two bolts on the top of the bracket so you can easily rest it on the tongue of your trailer, like so. So once you have your bracket mounted on or resting on the tongue of the trailer, go ahead and slot your other bolt underneath through, through your clamp. Place your washer over the bolt with the locking nut and the nut itself. Once you've gone completely hand tight like so, then you can go ahead and grab your 17 millimeter wrench and your 16 millimeter wrench or socket. Once you have your 2K side jack mounted securely to the tongue of the trailer like so, now you can begin lowering your jack and using the jack on the trailer. So the first jack I'm gonna show you guys how to use is the 2K side jack. It comes with your manual crank handle. So if you wanna manually bring your jack up and down, just place it on the shaft like so, and you can bring your jack up or down. Now. Our JX series also includes this cool drill attachment. As long as you have an 18 volt cordless drill or better, pop it on your jack like so, and now you have a drill powered jack. So you no longer have to manually hand crank your jack up or down. One thing that is also unique about our 2K side jack is this cool pull pin right here. So all you have to do is pull your pin out and the entire jack swivels and automatically finds the hole on the bracket, locks in, and now you are in your stowed position, ready to travel with your trailer. So for you guys out there who are wondering which jack best fits you, I would start off by saying, what kind of trailer do you have? Do you have a boat trailer? Do you have a uh, travel trailer? If you have a boat trailer, I typically recommend the side jack for you. The reason for that is you can mount it on the tongue and boats typically have a lot of rear weight on the trailer. So with the side jack, you can mount it closer to your boat, which gives you more tongue weight. More tongue weight, more stability, better traction, and it's just more stable all around. If you for some reason have an RV, and maybe you have surge brakes or something like that on the tongue of your trailer, then I would obviously recommend the center jack for you. That way it is, no it is getting in the way of the tongue at all or anything like that. It also is a little bit more stable for the RVs, which are a little bit more tongue weight in the front and it's in the center, so everything is more stable. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to install the 5K center jack. So before installing it, you do have to remove the foot plate. Once you've removed the foot plate, now you can go ahead and slot it in your coupler. Once you've lined up the holes on your coupler, you're gonna use these bolts that came with the jack. 
I, lock, I like to slot them all in first. Just to make things a little faster, I go hand tight first. Once you've got all the nuts in there hand tight, you'll need a 15 millimeter, 15 millimeter wrench or 15 millimeter socket, which I prefer a little faster. So now that you have the jack placed on your coupler and your three bolts uh, installed, you can go ahead and finish tightening it down with your 15 millimeter socket. Now your 5K center is secured to your coupler. Once your 5K center jack has been installed, you can go ahead and place the foot plate back on the bottom portion of the jack. Once your foot plate is installed on your 5K center jack, you can go ahead and use your manual hand crank which comes with the 5K center jack. So you can manually crank your jack up or down. And then the one really cool unique thing about our JX series is all of our jacks come with a drill attachment, which you can use on any standard 18 volt cordless drill or better. So just place on the shaft of the jack. And now you can drill power your jack up and down. One thing also to keep in mind with our jack series that makes them unique from all other standard jacks out there is our unique powder coating. And we've also installed a weather sleeve on the side jack as well to prevent any weather uh, moisture getting inside the jack, preventing rust. We also have added a little bit of material to the metal to make it more heat resistant for the drill for the inner jack tube inside going up and down. And that's it guys, that is our new JX series. So now that you have your jack installed, to get the best and most lifespan out of your jacks, I always recommend two things. Greasing your jack and making sure your jack is clean after each and every use. So each one of our jacks has a little reservoir on the back for grease. Just use the reservoir with your grease gun and inject the grease in it. Depending on how often you use it, if you use your trailer frequently, I recommend at least once to every two months. If you don't use it a lot, every three to four months is fine. So if this video was helpful to you guys, please like and subscribe to our channel.